Hey guys, it's Rob Wilder back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about a controversy that's been happening on Twitter again. But it feels like this controversy or this controversial topic has really reached a boiling point with the community, especially on Twitter. Because everything is at the boiling point on Twitter, am I right? Now, throughout the course of this video, you're going to see me swapping between this shirt and another shirt, and it's a different looking time of day. That's because I made a lot of edits to this video, and this is actually the future me, and what you'll be seeing most of this video is the previous me. <laughs> so without further ado, let's uh, kick back, relax, and uh, find out together what the dog doing. <laughs> Here we go, found my position, let's hit the road. Looking back, I know they probably doubt me, not a city on my back, I wear it proudly. I'm a hero in the making, <laughs> if I'm dreaming, you can't wait my time. I'm seizing the moment, cause I gotta go for the time's gone. They scared of the dark, cause I'm bringing the light with a nice long, I shine on. So what I'm going to lead off with here is Sylvanos' strengths. I want to talk about what makes him a good character, and I don't want to only focus on what I believe are his weaknesses. I want to also give a very you know, detailed description of what his strengths are, what makes him a good character. Because at the end of the day, I don't think Sylvanos is a bad character. I don't think there are any bad characters in Rivals of Aether. I think there are the worst characters in the game, or the best characters in the game, or even like the middle in the game, right? But I don't think there are bad characters. Sylvados so has phenomenal range. His down tilt is fair, right? The tip of his jab is very good. There it is. <laughs> his up air is really big and his back air is hated by all. He has good range with those key moves. So Sylvanas' damage is another one of his strengths, uh, according to many, many people in the community, myself included. Sylvanas has the potential to do a lot of damage off of a single hit. Okay, I'll take that. Like, 70, 80 damage, that was a little jank, but I'll take it, right? That's kind of really high damage from a single interaction, right? And that's why I have including edge guard, you know, like forward airs and stuff and more seeds, right? Um, so the damage can definitely rack up very quickly with this character. Uh, think about that is that if you pick a character like, let's say, we'll go Ronald even, right? Because Ronald's a great example I want to bring up here because Ronald actually does very little damage per hit. Like if you look at this Nair, five damage, right? Hold on. Up air one, four damage, right? Uh, back air. 6 damage, can do 8 damage though, right? Like very small amounts of damage, right? But even with that little bit of damage, okay, well I dropped. I dropped and I got 61. Honestly, when you're in the bubble, you're DI, like computer or not, you're gonna get like damaged, right? So you see, even a character like Rano is gonna do a lot of damage, even though every move he does is like very weak. So I'm just trying to say that every character in the cast in this game is going to actually hit you for a lot of damage. So Sylvanos doing like 20 to 30 more damage is like good, but it's not like, you know, like a huge difference. It's not like a, a big separator when you're doing only 30% more than most characters off the of interaction. I think people just forget how much damage everybody does, honestly. But it is still a positive for Sylvanos that he does do a lot of damage. He still does do a lot of damage. Another strength with Sylvanos is his speed. His overall speed, he's very fast. He's one of the fastest characters in the game in terms of run speed. And that actually makes for a really fun gameplay. He's very tricky to actually catch uh, in the hands of like a very fast player. Like that, like, like good luck catching that kind of stuff, right? Good luck. He's very fast. Um, and that's a very good positive because being fast is just a good thing in general, in, in any uh, platform fighter or fighter in general. So, Sylvanas' so recovery, I think, is the best out of all the heavies in the game, simply due to mix-up potential, like, like this. That's just, that's just, if you're fast enough, you're going to, like, get a lot of people off guard with that because they want to, like, stand here, and they want to parry either my side B or my back air or my up B. And when I wave land on stage and like roll behind them or wave, wave land on stage and then just jump to platform or wave land on stage and just literally run across the stage, whatever, one of those three, uh, I come back for Lily for free. Every time. Every time they parry, I, get, I come back for free. So they're going to stop parrying, which means now, back air is an option and you have this. Okay. I have a whole video about Sylvanos' recovery. It's like a 50 minute like guide or something like that. So 
if you want to know more about his recovery and how in depth it can actually go, check that out. But yeah, in general, he has a very, very good recovery, in my opinion, especially if you use wave landing like correctly. Sylvanos easily has the highest ceiling in the game for tech chasing, by far, bar none, right? And that's because he has moves like Howl, he has down tilt, right? He's down tilt, crazy range, right? And then he's got a lot of moves that actually um, put people in scenarios where these are good to use, right? So this is going to be um, an example, I guess. So if they, you know, tech roll out, whatever, it's really simple. If I do like a down air here, a sweet spot down air, like with the spike, I'm going to wait for the computer to tech roll and I'm going to like down air, right? Right? I didn't even have to move and I got him, correct? Super good. I'll come back to it later. But that is a powerful, you know, option to have off of tech chasing, you know, this huge range down to. Other than that, he has Howl, which is really good because if I like Nair and have the computer tech roll, it doesn't matter where. Well, if they tech roll in or out. That was a little slow. Honestly, they could have parried that. Let me be a little faster. Right? That actually covered perfectly the uh, tech roll out there. And I could have got like an up tilt. I'll take that, right? You see, I can still hit them off of um, a howl. It's really good when uh, you get the, the you catch the roll, the tech roll, right? So yeah, that those are like the really big and like key strengths I have for Sylvanas. Now I want to transfer over to his weaknesses. So for for me to transfer to his weaknesses or like change uh, the topic over to his weaknesses, I have to say something I used to think about when I played Sylvanos, and that is that I thought of Sylvanos as like viability and how good he was in a vacuum. But then, when I played Absol, as I have like a random, let me just show you real quick. I have a random online rank. If you look at my Absol here, I have a, like everyone else is bronze, right? And my Absol is diamond three. And obviously Sylvanos and Masters. But this diamond three is here because I played, obviously I played Absol on ranked one day. And when I played her that one day on ranked, because I never played basically any other character outside of Zeta Burn, Force Burn, and Sylvanos, but when I played Absa, I was like, hold up, hold up. This is like Sylvanos, but everything he does is not only easier, but it's better. Much better. And I started to realize that that goes for a lot of things with Sylvanos. For example, the tech chase game. Every character in this game can tech chase, correct? Everybody. But whereas I showed you for Sylvanos here, I gotta go back here really quickly. Well, I did that down tilt, right? Right? And that down tilt hits there, right? That is actually really risky. Right? And I like read them going left. Like if I read you going left, like I did here, and I go for down tilt again, you are now behind me. If you roll in, obviously, that's how you know check takes work that 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 part is fine you see what's not fine at least in my opinion is that if you compare sylvanos the premier tech chase character to other characters in the same game like absa or kane in rano or kane especially since he's a notorious character or a character that is notorious for whiffing moves during his tech chase yet still getting a successful tech chase and in the case of rano well i can just show you like rano has a literal setup where he can whiff Hope I'm doing this right. Squanto, if you if he's watching this, he could probably leave it in the comment section or something how this actually goes. I think it's down to it, and then you do that. Right? The whole premise here is that you can whiff your nair, which covers an option like tech in place. And if if they roll, right, to avoid the tech in place, like punish, you still get the dash attack, right? You still get something. Or Kane has the same thing with his like down tilt and his dash attack and his jabs, right? He can whiff, yet still get the tech chase to keep going. So Vanos does not have that luxury to whiff any of his moves and still get that tech chase. The biggest takeaway here I want to like talk about before I get in uh, the biggest weakness in my opinion that Sylvanos has. Um, well, yes, I will say he has a horrible disadvantage state. That is, um, that's that's no, that's no like surprise to anybody. His hor horrible disadvantage state outside of his recovery. And what does that mean then if your recovery is good but your disadvantage is bad? It means you get comboed very hard. Um, you can have some trouble um, getting people off of you, right? Because your moves aren't like the best up close, which is a segue into me talking about Sylvanos' last and biggest weakness here is his awful 
awful up close and boxing game. By far the worst in the game at fighting people up close. Something I feel like that's important to talk about here is the fact that I used to think that it was okay that Silvanos did not have a good boxing game. That is because when I first played him, I only thought about what he could do and not in comparison to the other characters in the cast. And when you think about it that way, it doesn't seem that bad that he does not have a good boxing game. You actually start to weigh the pros and cons of the character. You see he has a lot of range. He's very annoying, right? And because of these things, you're like, oh, okay, if I get hit, this makes sense. But then when you look at Absa, who has a back tilt, and no, I did not misspeak there. She has a back tilt. Her forward tilt is memed upon and called a back tilt because the hitbox is so generous that it hits in front, behind, and honestly, it even hits above her as a semi-anti-air. When you look at Crag, who has a frame 5 down tilt, good jabs, and all up tilt that hits behind him, that's also a massive disjoint anti-air. When you look at Eliana, who has a frame 1 up B, when you look at these three zoners and then look back at Sylvanos, why does he not have a get off me tool? It doesn't make sense. So when you look at him and compare him to the other characters in the same game, he actually has no reason to not have a get off me tool in my personal opinion. And I think that really holds him back as a character. I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but Sylvanos doesn't have a real projectile. So he actually gets camped out by every other character in the game damn near because he can't actually like threaten them from a long distance. He, he thrives in that mid range where he has down tilts and forward airs and you know even way dash up jab can be really good. But it's real and, and, oh, and, and F tilt. His F tilt is also good in that range. But again, at that long distance, he doesn't have anything to do to you. Like, Ronald has darts, Zedburn has fireball, or Kane can like jump in with the puddle like I know that's not obviously zoning or whatever but he also can stop you from running at him with placing a puddle so he doesn't have a, a option to say hey hey you're far you need to like come at me you need to actually approach me because I have this long range thing I'm a zoner hey I'm a zoner you're not supposed to be that far away from me because you, you're gonna take this damage like Absa Ford so across stage you're gonna take free damage her cloud you're gonna take free damage it's gonna knock you up or off stage or something right you have to approach him so else does to have that? And it's really weird that he hasn't had that because he's supposed to be a zoner. He doesn't zone the way he should, in my opinion. And I've, all, and I've thought that for a very long time, actually. He doesn't zone the way he should. That is why I think Sylvanos is actually not as good. So to answer the question, how good is Sylvanos really? Not very, but he's still good. Lastly, I would like to talk about this character's neutral. Because this is another huge thing people like to talk about. How they say Sylvanos players only play aggressively and don't know how to play, you know, reserved or don't use their ki their character's kits and tools to the fullest. People just seem to forget the, the fact that he can be whiff punished. You can be baited into many situations where you feel like you need to hit them or threaten a certain part of the stage, you know, zone off a section of the stage with big normals. But when you do these things, you are taking risks. If a Zetaburn runs up to me, or any Solanos, or Ori, or Maple, any fast character, and you try to stop an approach with, you know, down tilts, or forward airs, or up airs, you are taking a risk. You are putting yourself under so much whiff lag if they choose to air dodge through, wave dash back, parry. There's so many things that they can actually use to deal with that, which is good game design. But what isn't good game design is the fact that Sylvanos has to rely on those three or four moves in neutral to stuff out set approaches. If we look at our top two players, Giga Bowser and Vixen, Giga and Vixen have thrown away this character's neutral because it is inherently risky. They go for a more zero to death combo oriented play style. Like I'm gonna get an opening, I'm going to make the most out of my openings. I'm going to kill you, or you're going to take 150 damage, hopefully. You know, some kind of, like, absurd damage. And if you're wondering how I know they don't care about neutral, well, for one, you can watch Giga Bowser and tell he don't care about no neutral. He about to zero to death. And Vixen, well, I played Vixen very recently, and I, we were having some friendlies in the Silvdiddle, and I was saying that 
man, I feel like my neutral is so good, but your combo game is so much better than mine. And she responded with, yeah, I kind of just gave up on neutral, and now I'm just doing my own thing or doing what I want to do. And I'm just like, so do none of our top Sylvanos actually use neutral and they actually get results? Like, And I'm saying all this to say that the character has such a volatile and, in my opinion, risky neutral that it's better to just go balls deep or balls to the wall and try to zero to death them from any interaction you can. And I personally believe that that speaks volumes of the character's viability. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, before I actually close the video here, I want to say, one, do I think Sylvanos needs buffs? And two, do I want Sylvanos buffed? To answer the first question, yes, I do in fact think Sylvanos needs buffs. But two, uh, I don't think Sylvanos should get buffed, and that may seem very weird since I main the character, but I understand people hate fighting Sylvanos, and I can understand that because I truly despise fighting Ori. I think in Rivals 3D, when they add shields and grabs, I feel like the character will be much more tolerable and in response be more deserving of buffs. But until then, I think I will just have to deal with the current iteration of Sylvanos. So with that, guys, I think I'll end it here. I hope you guys have a good day. It's been Rottweiler. Peace out. <laughs> I'm spacing these syllables. I like I've been man and glaring. I'm hunting them down alone. I don't do the sharing. Bars got me sweating. I think I can see my spirit. Palm in the back, singing, spicing up the lyrics. Draco on my hip. I'm ready for the fireworks. Emma, this Olympian. Try not to go berserk. Your girl want me bad, but that's not my fault. If her ass go up, then it's a cake of salt. Like Zetter, I'm a fucking...